Hey everybody, welcome to Bobby Builds It. Today we're going to look at the Miles Craft Joint Mate self-centering doweling jig. We'll talk about how I came to pick this one, what I liked about it, and what I didn't like about it. Before we go any further, I just want to say that I'm not affiliated with this company at all. I just found this one online when looking and bought it. Big reason I got it is it's 20 bucks for everything you have and these drill stops were something I did not have and wanted. And it also has three different size dowels, the drill bits to go with them, even some wood glue. So basically, if all you had was a drill and you wanted to do some doweling, this jig will take care of you. We have instructions to do corner, surface, and edge joints and I will go through the instructions on how to do all three. First step is going to be determining which size dowel to use. They've got quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths. There's a chart that tells you which ones to use. Our boards are three quarters of an inch so we're going to use the five sixteenths. Setting up the depth on the drill bit can be a little bit tricky with the corner and surface joints. If you're doing edge joints, you just take the length of the dowel, in this case it's an inch and a half, divide that by two, and drill a little bit deeper so you have space for the glue. Here, we can't do that, because it'd be three quarters of an inch, it'd be going all the way through. We don't want to do that. So after doing all the calculations, we want about three eighths of an inch going into this piece, and one and three eighths of an inch over here. I got the drill bit all set up. Don't forget to account for the inch that the jig is. We're going to do something wild and unheard of and go step by step with the instruction books. Step one says put the boards in their finished position, label them one and two. Here is one, there is two. Step two is to clamp board one with the edge being joined facing up. We actually did step three earlier when we figured out where we should set the, the drill stop, but now is a good time to make sure this is good and tight and doesn't move back on you, causing your hole to be deeper than you want it to. For step four, make sure you got the hole you want to use. We're going to use these two pegs. We're using the 5 16th inch bit. And you just straddle the board just like that and you can pre-mark out where you want the dowels to be and find your mark and just hold it up tight against the board there step five we're going to drill our hole yeah. with your drill off put it down there And there you go. Step six, you're just gonna put the correct dowel in each of the holes you drilled. So we're gonna use this to align the fence for board two. Step seven is to attach the guide fence. Slide that piece on. There are holes on either side for the pegs. Room in. Step eight, find the right bushing, slide it right over your dowel. Take step nine, take the fence, put it flush up against the board, tighten it down. For step 11, you get the appropriate slot for the size dowel you're using. Slide it over the dowel. And you push the whole thing until your fence is touching board number two. For step 12, you're just making sure everything is aligned how you want it. Boards are flush if that's where you want them to be. But the fence is up against board two and get it all good and clamped down. It might be a good idea to use clamps going this way as well, just so nothing shifts. 
steps 13 and 14. You start on one end, make sure you're good and snug. Put your drill in the appropriate hole with the power off and just drill your hole. Now is a good time to make sure one more time that the drill bit won't go all the way through. Step 15 is just repeating steps 13 and 14 on down the board. But I did learn something about spacing. I try to line this slot up with my second dowel, it won't go. I didn't leave enough space. So as you're laying out your dowels on board one, make sure you have enough space to get the jig in between the dowels. We've made it to step 16. So to fix my spacing issue, I just pulled one dowel out, made my second hole, do a dry fit before you put any glue, just to be sure you're looking pretty good. And then if you were done, you just pull the dowels back out, put glue there and glue in there, and let it set up and you're good to go for corner. Next up, we're gonna look at how to do edge joints. Step one for the edge joining is to just repeat steps one through nine from doing your corner with whatever edge you're wanting to use. Step two, you take board two and line it up how you want it with board one. Now we've got a pretty gnarly knot there, so I'm just gonna flip this over like that. Step three, clamp it down. So I had a little bit of a cupping issue, so I got some more clamps to tighten that up. For step four, find the appropriate slot, slide it over the dowel, push the jig till it stops. Then take your fence, push it flush with board two, tighten it up. Then you'll drill your holes. Step six will just be repeating the process on down the board. I went to do my dry fit and I noticed a couple of problems. There's a gouge here and this hole isn't complete. The dowel is showing through. Went ahead and put them together. And as you can see, they are nowhere near flush. I don't know if that's because of the bows and the cupping. I tried with a few other boards and I was getting the same result but I came up with a solution. So what I did, I just took the first board, got the hole, then marked where the jig met the board. Took board two, lined it up how I wanted, transferred the mark over, and drilled the hole like I was doing for board one. much better results. It's more tedious, but it works. I'll have to practice some more and see if I can figure out that other way. For doing the surface joints, you do steps one through six of making the corner joint. Then you get board two and draw a line where your holes need to be. Take your jig, Put it over the right dowel, and there's a center line on it. You line that up with the line on your board, and just drill your holes, and repeat on down. Went ahead and drilled my holes. Let's see how it fits. There we go. There's one limitation I found to the jig, and that's if you're trying to do a joint like this. But the jig itself, there's really no way that it goes that you'll get the hole over here. They did include these pins, so what you can do is get the hole on this board where you need it to be, slide it in there, line this up how you want it, and just press down. Then you'll get a mark like that, and you could drill from there. It gives you a little indentation 
for the tip of the drip bit. Well, that'll about wrap it up for this one. All in all, the jig did what it was supposed to do. Had a little struggle there with the edge joints, but that's probably due to the boards. If you're just starting to fill, fill out your tool collection like me, I think it's a pretty good thing to have with all the pieces that do come with it. One thing I would probably do is have another set of drill bits with the stop collars so I don't have to adjust so often if I'm in the middle of a big project. Thank you for spending some time with me today. We'll see you next time.